The Duratriges were a Brittonic Celtic tribe who lived in what is now southwest Britain, primarily Dorset, with parts of Somerset and southern Wiltshire, during the late Iron Age. Their name is usually interpreted as meaning, dwellers by the strongholds, a fitting description for a people known for occupying and defending some of the most imposing hill forts in Britain. Archaeologically, the Duratriges are strongly associated with massive hill forts such as Maiden Castle, Hod Hill, and Hambledon Hill, many of which show evidence of multiple construction phases, ramparts, ditches, and intense occupation. These sites were not just military refuges but also centers of community life, trade, and ritual. Artifacts linked to the Duratriges include distinctive cast bronze objects, iron tools and weapons, pottery with regional styles, and a notable series of locally minted silver and bronze coins, which often appear deliberately crude compared to continental issues. The Duratriges traded and exchanged ideas with neighboring tribes such as the Dabuni to the north and the Atrobates to the east, while also participating in wider Atlantic trade networks that brought in goods from Gaul. However, they seem to have had limited early engagement with Rome, and archaeological evidence suggests that their territory experienced violent disruption during the Roman invasion, particularly at hill forts like Maiden Castle. During the Roman invasion of Britain beginning in 43 CE, the Duratriges' territory in southwest Britain lay directly in the path of the advancing Roman forces, likely under Vespasian, then a legionary commander. Archaeological evidence from major Duro-Trigian hill forts, most famously Maiden Castle, shows signs of violent assault, including weapon injuries on human remains and Roman military equipment such as ballista bolts. Despite this resistance, the Duratriges were ultimately absorbed into the Roman provincial system. Their hill forts were abandoned or repurposed, and Roman-style towns, roads, and villas began to appear in the region. By the later 1st century CE, the area had been integrated into Roman Britannia, with local elites likely co-opted into Roman administration. In this video, we will explore the genetics of a high-quality Duro-Trigen sample. I used academic tools such as AdmixTools 2, but also amateur tools, such as my AnriMix tool and G25. According to Andre Mix, the closest ancient populations to this Duro-Trigen sample were various insular Celts and Northwest Europeans. Ulster Irish were predicted to be its closest modern population match. According to G25, this sample plots with the Welsh, and can be modeled as a three-way mix of insular Celtic, Northern European, and Basque. According to QPADM, this sample exhibits strong affinities to steppe Indo-Europeans, scoring 54% steppe, which is higher than what is expected for Northwestern Europe. Its ancestry can also be broken down into steppe and indigenous British Isles farmers, although this model gets a slightly worse p-value. Duro-Trigen ancestry can be modeled as a two-way mix of Irish and English bell beakers. Now let's move on to his trait predictor results. He was predicted to have light brown eyes, dark brown hair, light olive skin, wavy hair, and Greek nose shape. He was predicted to be intermediate between warrior and warrior, lactase persistent, to have higher odds of autism, average empathy, lower odds of epithelial cancer, higher odds of autoimmune disease, average odds of obesity, and decisively blood type A. He carried two copies of Farmer CLTCL1, had wet earwax and typical body odor, no protection from HIV based on HLAC genotypes, carried neither colorblindness nor albinism variants, had lower odds of cannabis-induced psychosis, and carried the athletic CC genotype in ACTN3's R577X. He carried rare risk variants for dwarfism, hemochromatosis, Alzheimer's, spina bifida, homocystinuria, familiar hypercholesterolemia, Gerstmann, Strassler, Schenker syndrome, Putzjägers, and Brugada syndrome. Based on his genetic data, he most likely suffered from hemochromatosis, otherwise known as the Celtic curse for its prevalence in the British Isles. He scored particularly high for odds of myopia, PBC, baldness, DVT, type 2 diabetes, type 1 diabetes, glioma, thyroid cancer, and testicular cancer. He scored particularly low for odds of schizophrenia, bipolar 1, bipolar 2, depression, cardiovascular issues, atrial fibrillation, leukemia, Tourette's, eczema, and migraine. You can purchase his genome in 23andMe format from the link in description. There you will also find purchase links for my trait predictor tool and other software and services that I provide.